Welcome to season one, Chaos Games. I'm your host, Lauren Pratt, along with my co-host, McKenna Feeney. We also have a production crew with us. They're going to introduce themselves. They're going to be recording you in different breakout rooms. You're also going to get pulled throughout this game for confessionals. So be prepared. If you're talking to someone, you might get pulled to a different room to do a confessional real quick. I'm Alex. Uh, I will be the person that you guys will be going to to do your little 30-second uh, confessionals. And in the unfortunate event you get voted out of the game, you'll be giving me your final words. I'm Carrie. Um, I am going to be sending you guys to talk to Alex. So if you want to do a confessional, you just message me on Facebook and I'll send you into his room. Hi, guys. I'm Ian. Uh, just I'll be manning you through breakout rooms and uh, go Steelers. I'm Annabelle. Um, I'll also be managing one of the breakout rooms. All right, so that means everyone else that is on the screen, you are all playing in this game. Big thing to know, it's a free for all. You can bounce in and out of breakout rooms whenever you want to go and talk to different people. So if you're talking about someone, someone might pop in there. So you gotta be really careful in this game. All right, everyone. Each of you are going to make a choice right now that very well could affect your entire game. We're gonna put up a wheel that has each of your names on it. Two people are gonna get picked Check. by the wheel. Then from there, a schoolyard pick is going to take place. What? <laughs> this is really intense. <laughs> I guess that's a way to break randomness. Or Austin. That is me, yes. All right, we got Austin. Phil. All right, Austin, Phil. You're going to start selecting people by a schoolyard pick. You are each on opposite sides of each other. Austin, since the wheel landed on you first, take your pick. I'm gonna go right now, I'm gonna pick Nick. Phil, who are you picking? Uh, I'm gonna take Jeremy. All right, Hi. Nick. Let's go with uh, David. Jeremy, who do you have? Annie. David? I will go with Karen. Annie. I have not been chosen. Okay, I'll choose you. Karen. I'll pick Ryan. Corey. I'll go with Keaton. Ryan, who do you have? Who we got? Carlo, Dan, yep. is that it? Yep. yep. All right, Dan. Which puts Carlo with Phil's group. You are all able to gather a little bit of information about each other. Whether you choose to use all that is up to you. However, these are not your tribes. We have assigned you tribes. So, part of the Yaloka tribe, Ryan. Phil, Keaton, Annie, Carlo, and David. Then part of the Toa tribe, Karen, Nick, Austin, Jeremy, Corey, and Dan. Are you guys ready to get to your first immunity challenge? Let's do it. Do it, yeah. All right. For this challenge, you guys are going to be playing Survivor Flip Cup. It's going to be a round by round game. If your tribe wins the round, you get to select someone from the losing tribe to be eliminated. However, right here, right now, I need you guys to elect a speaker. The Yaloka tribe of Ryan, Phil, Keaton, Annie, Carlo, and David discuss who you want to be your speaker. I said we oh. put Phil in. Yeah, go ahead, Phil. Phil, yeah. Phil? Yeah. Okay. Alrighty, Toa, who's your speaker? Doesn't matter to me, guys. Ditto. <laughs> Would you like me to go to a wheel? Do you guys want to let her spin the wheel? That seems fair. Uh, sure. That's, 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 that's cool. Let's, let's do it. Sorry. All right. Let's go for it. Jeremy. All right, speakers, you want to know what your role is in this challenge? I guess. Your role in this challenge, nobody else is allowed to talk to you. If your tribe wins the round, you are the one that's selecting who's eliminated from the other tribe. You can't get any input from your tribe mates 
when making the decision. Survivors ready, go. Hey, Ryan. Nice guys. All right. All right. Jeremy, who are you eliminating from Yoloka? I'll take out Phil. Right. Phil, you have been eliminated. However, you are still speaker for your tribe. All right. Round two. Survivors ready. Brian. out David. Round three, survivors ready. Go. Who do you want to eliminate? You will take out uh, Carlo. Round four, survivors ready. Survivor's ready. Go. You're good, Dan. Nick, Nick, Nick. Uh, Corey.
which means Yaloka Tribal Council. All right, so uh, is, it, is hunger getting the best of anyone so far? Anyone just want to go home and, uh, oh. No, I actually had pizza for breakfast before we started, so I'm good. I yeah. had Cheerios, <laughs> so I'm good. Have you seen, have you seen my size? I, I, I can't last. About the, the initial choices, like, I get we got tribe assigned, but the choices, like, we got a order pick or something. Oh, the draft, the draft we did. You know, I, I think maybe the schoolyard pick might might have indicated who might know each other outside of the game, potentially. Uh, it certainly reveals kind of who people want to be on the same tribe with. But but then again, it could just be reading too much into it. Yeah, yeah I think whoever you picked ended up being on the opposite tribe. I think that's kind of how it worked, because the person that picked me and then the person I picked both went on opposite tribes. So I, I guess that's how they did the, the split. I'm not sure I, that. I said I'm Phil, by the way. I'm Annie. Uh, so, do you like know other people? Like, I know him, Ryan. Um, so, I am lucky that I have a secret connection in the game that nobody knows about yet, and that is Dave. Um, and so, luckily, he was able to clue me in on kind of how these things work and loop me into, you know, a small beginning alliance. But we are going to try to keep quiet the fact that we have this connection. So, me, Carlo, and David were just talking about going Keaton just purely based off challenge performance since we don't really know each other I know I struggle a lot in challenges I did in the last mini I played so challenges are not my strong points mainly my convincing of people who to vote out yeah there's not a whole lot to go on this time and, and yeah I think that I makes the most sense. sense just to give us time in order to go on to like socialize and meet a little bit yeah. I hate to do it based on performances think? but it's just the Thing that we have right now what's up man i could say me you and phil working together you know i mean it's good to know that people pick me because maybe i have a little trust maybe i can get a little far we'll see what happens i don't know who i'm aligning with at this point maybe ryan who are you thinking um probably annie would be our best bet i know she was this next one who struggled the most in our challenge me, Phil, Ryan, and Annie have started talking. I think we've kind of formed a bit of a four uh, to have the majority in our tribe. So I'm hoping that that can stay strong. Um, Yaloka. Yes. Date with me here at Tribal Council. You guys lose that first challenge and you got smoked. It's still the morning. We're just getting warmed up. You have to let them think that they have a chance, so. <laughs> yeah, we lure, <laughs> lull them into a false sense of security. Yeah. I like the confidence. I like it. But now you have to back it up and go and win the next challenge. Yeah. Uh, yes, that is the plan. But we did not foresaw that they were all like top flip expert in Alcoholics. one thing. Especially with, uh, with uh, Nick, uh, Karen, uh, Karen too. So Phil, you were selected as the speaker, though you didn't get to uh, use your power. No, um, how did that make you feel, being I, the I speaker? Mean, I, guess, I mean, I guess it makes me feel a little good knowing that I have a little trust in some people here to just select me. You know? So I hope. So I hope that means something good. That I'm not going home or anything yet. It's, it's too early. So Annie, at the beginning, we had you guys select who you could potentially thought was going to be on your tribe. And yet those weren't the people that ended up being on your tribe. Some of them may have. So what went into who you decided to select? I, I just, I think people were just looking around trying to, trying to size up who everybody was. I mean, less than a less than a first impression you get just this tiny little screen with a person's picture um so i'm not i'm not sure that there's too much that can be read into you know who picked who for for their tribes at the beginning oh probably not since i got black so <laughs> ryan how big are first impressions to you um i guess that's all you really have to go off when you don't really know anybody um so you know the first vote here is going to be pretty much all based on first impressions for everybody, I think. Mm -hmm. So Keaton, Ryan just mentioned that this first vote is based off of first impressions. How are you deciding on who you're voting for? What are you basing your vote on? Um, well, I 
mainly I have some people I know here and I know people in the other tribes, so to make sure I can get further in the game out to keep the people I know around. So David, Keen just says that he knows a few people in this game. How are you reacting to that? Um, I mean, that's, that's, you know, it's, it's important to know, uh, because I, I don't know what connections people have with each other, but, um, you know, if, if Keaton potentially knows people on the other tribe and would immediately want to flip, if there was a merge, you know, that, that's problematic to say the least. Any final thoughts from anyone else before we vote? <laughs> Let's never come here again until merge. That's right. You know, you were gonna go home anyway, but talking about your friends on the other side might not be the best uh, move. Voting for Annie. Uh, she's the only one who struggled as much as I did in Flip Cup and hopefully my people that I align myself with join me in voting for her. I am voting for Keaton for three reasons. One, he threw my name out there. Two, he says he has connections on the other side. And three, that was the name somebody else brought up first. All right, I'll go get the votes. The person who receives the most votes will be asked to leave tribal council immediately. I'll read the votes. Keaton. Annie. That's one vote Keaton, one vote Annie. Keaton. Keaton. That's Keaton. That's three votes Keaton. One vote Annie. Keaton. Sorry, Keaton. <laughs> Understandable. Yeah. Thanks for playing, Keaton. Uh, you know, I wish I drank more alcohol because then I'd be good at Fup Cup, but I'm not because I don't want to get drunk like everyone here. Also, Austin's my brother. Don't want to, don't want that fool. He's my brother as well. And Bill's going to win this.